in shambles because I don't see the point in fixing the exhaust at the tailpipe where it fell off. So it's just got it coming out the glass pack back there underneath the bed. Don't see a point in doing that. The floor needs rebuilt, but I'm hoping when I push the front axle forward that the um, I can build the floor more flat or slanted like a tow board instead of having the um, wheel well. All right, guys. So this is my yellow four-wheel drive. It is my daily driver. It only gets washed really to get the salt off of it for a lot of reasons. A couple of them which are, like as you can see down there, the door. Uh, yeah, the door. I can't even see my screen, so hopefully you guys can see that. The door's rotten, the cab's rotten, wheel wells are rotten a little bit. This is not as bad as I have seen, obviously. And I may have picked the wrong road for this. But, 1985 Nissan 720 four-wheel drive. It was a factory base model, no power steering, but it did have factory AC. Uh, I have a compressor for it. I don't have a condenser, and it still has the box in there. My interior is a little dirty. It gets daily driven, as I said. But, that's when I say the cab is rotten. So, not a lot really gets fully paid attention to, because I don't know certain rattles, if there's a cab moving or elsewhere. But yeah, so, stock, almost as stock as it can get. 1985. It has a Z24. It's got enough oil leaks to, I don't know, keep it from rusting. Which probably is what saved the frame. Cars. Um, it does have a Weber carburetor on it. I avoided the Weber carburetor for years and years. I have had 720s, actually they've been in my family since 2010, which was before I got my license. And I don't know, I just like them. I like the simplicity of them. The no power steering is nice, but it may be changing. This truck has a two inch body lift which is a very sketchy body lift, obviously. They all are. But two inch body lift. The bed, it has the matching lift. But then they put these tubes to support the bed in the dead spot. Because originally here, there's a rubber mount that goes between the two. So they welded them together. Wasn't done by me. Have wanted to take the body lift off since the beginning. It also has a rear block, looks to be about a two inch as well. It used to have the torsion bars cranked up in the front to clear 33s, which is what is on my uh, front, the cover photo. This truck used to sit on 33s and it drove but the cab had to be beat in like that with the two inch body lift. So I took the body lift or took the 33s off of it and lowered the front front, went to 31s and it was failing emissions because it was on three cylinders. This truck is on motor number three.